brackets.io will no longer be supported by Adobe. So, you know, I really liked brackets. So I found something similar to brackets.io on Visual Studio Code. So this is one of the extensions that I like. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to basically click on the extensions and when you click on the extensions, so this one is the extensions right here. So when you click on the extensions, I want you to search right here for HTML-Live-Server. All right, so HTML-Live-Server. So I'm going to type that in. So HTML-Live-Server. And then it should show you this one by Naveen Vanish. I'm not sure if I pronounce his name or her name correctly. You will need to basically click on it and install it. So when you click on install, what you will need to do is that you will need to open a folder. So you will need to click on file, then open folder and choose where you have your website at. So for example, right now I have my folder here and if I click on select folder, it's going to open the folder. So let me see let's I'm not sure yeah I have it open here all right so I have my folder open and if I click on my index.html now this is what I have now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to basically um, you know rename this one because this one is index.html so it loads the index.html so I'm going to rename this one to something else so I'm going to say uh, for example forms and I'm going to run that extension. So to run it, you press Alt, then S to start this, the preview. All right, so it will basically open it. And now it says cannot get forward slash. So what you'll need to do is that you'll need to rename them. So for example, I'm going to rename this one to index.html. Uh, so it loads whatever is the index. So for example, I just named this one index.html and if I just refresh it, you'll notice that I have it open now. So now if I just come here and if I just type in something here, so let me just add a header to here, say first header, something like that. And then I'm going to go to file, save. And whenever I click on save, it's going to show it to me. So now I'm going to actually minimize this one and let me collapse this. Let me collapse this uh, explorer. All right. So now I have my code here and if I press control S, it will just show it to me right away. Then underneath it, I'm going to say, for example, uh, let's see, paragraph. Hello everyone, just like that, save it. So when you save it, you see you don't have to refresh it, it just shows it to you. So now let's add some style here. Let's see if it's going to work with CSS. So style, background color, let's go with something. So this color, let me save it. Yep, it has added that color and uh, you know, um, it loads whatever file you name it index. So for example, I call this one index.html and it has loaded it first. So it, you'll have to, uh, you know, uh, rename your file to the index.html or you can open your complete project by simply, you know, going to file and then open folder. And then right here, it will always load the index.html. So now let's try adding some script here. So let's say that I want to use JavaScript. So let's see how it works with JavaScript. So I'm going to say alert, for example, um, hello. All right, so I want it to just alert hello. And I'm going to save it. So when I save it, Wow, it works with JavaScript too. So the only thing that I did not like about this extension is you will have to, you know, rename your file to index.html in order to 
load it but this one is uh, a live editor and uh, i hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to let us know in the comments about any other extensions that are cool so i'll see you in the next video and enjoy coding everyone